Now, for a really long time, I'd struggled to get myself to study. When I saw people doing this productivity something, I'd be like, oh my God, like, is this actually possible? Can you actually be that productive? Will you actually do what you need to do and actually enjoy doing it? It felt like a dream until I discovered a really interesting way in which I could trick my brain to actually doing the hard stuff. To actually start this journey of tricking your brain, you need to first understand how your brain actually works. And to do that, I would like to introduce you to a really interesting chemical. Don't worry, I'm not some crackhead trying to like tell you to take crack or anything. I mean, <laughs> no. Well, this chemical is dopamine. Now the thing is dopamine is your key to tricking your brain to perform at insane levels of productivity or it could render you homeless and basically a nuisance to society. Okay, that actually changed real quick but you're probably wondering how does that happen. Now the reason why cocaine, weed, tramadol, pornography, basically addictive things that are bad for us are addictive is because these substances mess with the release of dopamine in your brain. In essence, dopamine is responsible for your desires. And do you know what else controls the release of dopamine in your brain your phone every time you scroll on tiktok every time your favorite anime character gets some new power in a new episode of that anime you're watching every time you level up your town hall in that online game the surge of dopamine that goes through your brain actually makes you desire to want more of the same thing i think at this point you understand how important and how powerful dopamine actually is, I'm sure there's another question in your mind. How do you actually utilize it to trick your brain? Now, the thing is, every single activity that you're engaging has the potential to release a certain amount of dopamine. But the question is, what is the amount and how long will it take? Now, the reason why most of us spend hours scrolling through Instagram, watching anime, playing that online strategy game is because they actually give us quick hits of dopamine and not just quick, they give us high levels of dopamine fast. While in comparison to reading that big and to me textbook, it's almost like comparing a Lamborghini to a Toyota or something. I'm sure I'm wondering how do I get myself to want to want to read? But that's where dopamine detox comes into play. Now what is dopamine detoxing? Dopamine detox is basically cutting down all artificial sources of dopamine for a day, two days, I mean sometimes even a week. Some people actually do this for like months on end but basically going on some kind of dopamine fast and just allowing yourself to embrace the boredom. I'm sure you're probably wondering how does this help me study more? Now in biology there's something called homeostasis. Now homeostasis is basically when your body regulates a constant internal environment. The more you expose yourself to dopamine or rather high levels of it, the more your dopamine threshold increases and the more dopamine you will need to get yourself to that feel-good level. Like I said before, most activities has the potential to release dopamine but the question is in what amount and how long. If I am already used to getting high doses of dopamine through Instagram or TikTok, my guide on and whole textbook stands no chance. You actually going on a dopamine detox is basically you evening out the playing field and actually giving your textbook a chance to breathe. Let be poor, breathe. Don't suffocate them. If you have literally starved yourself from dopamine hits from artificial dopamine sources, your textbook would actually begin to look interesting. And guys, if you're getting a ton of value from this video, please don't forget to hit the like button. It helps with the algorithm. Now let's continue. But the thing is that not all of us might have the ability to actually go on a dopamine detox. So here are some alternatives. One alternative is a cherry on top method. Now what does this mean? There is a book by Brian Tracy called Eat That Frog. Now the premise of that book is basically hinged upon the fact that you do your hardest tasks the first thing in the morning. This is because in the morning you have your highest levels of willpower. You are using your willpower and also using your dopamine addiction. What do I mean by this? Now the cherry on top method is basically using something like maybe TikTok, Instagram or your online game to reward yourself after you've done your hardest task. It kind of like creates an expectation for your brain to actually make you want to do that hard thing that you don't want to do. Because you know at the end, you're actually going to get a reward by doing what you actually enjoy doing, which is basically the cherry on top. Now, another way is by breaking the task down. Now, like I said, everything has the potential to give you dopamine. It just depends on the amount and how fast it, you actually get dopamine. If you're doing something difficult, you can actually shorten the time in which you get your dopamine hits by breaking the task into little milestones. Now, the thing is that we get dopamine when we actually accomplish something. That's why these games are actually addictive because you actually kind of feel like you're accomplishing something by upgrading your town hall. While it's not exactly real, but you still, your brain doesn't know that. It still feels like you're actually achieving something. That's the same thing with breaking things down. When you actually break down the task into manageable chunks, when you accomplish those small, small chunks that are compared to just waiting before you get the big payout, you can actually get small, small hints of dopamine to actually keep you going on that difficult task that you want to do. Now, the thing is that some of us might actually 
actually be so entrenched in dopamine and, and to actually improve your level of productivity just going cold turkey without dopamine might actually be the best way to get some results in this journey of tricking your brain and guys if you like this video i think you're gonna like a video about breaking the procrastination spell and if you found this video helpful please like and share it to someone who you think will also find it helpful and like always guys remember to always keep it real bye guys